anyone that's been four-wheel driving will have used one of those maps with all those wriggly lines on them. But do we really know what those lines mean? Once you find out what they mean, they actually give the map a whole new dimension and almost a three-dimensional view. Let me show you what I mean. Now this line represents all the points on the ground at the same elevation above sea level. And you can see here how the lines follow that shape. Each successive contour line represents a change in vertical elevation above sea level. And this is called the contour interval, which is a set amount that is specified on the map. So let's say the contour interval is 10 metres. That means from the point on the ground, the next contour line is 10 metres above that. Now individually, that doesn't tell you anything. It's when you put all of those lines together that it really tells the story. You see, this is the picture that is shown. As you go up a hill or a mountain, the lines of the same elevation show you the steepness of the terrain. If the incline is steep, contour lines look closer together on the map because there is less lateral distance between the 10 metre change in elevation. Conversely, if they are further apart, then the train is less steep. So you see here that this section is extremely steep, whereas these are relatively gentle slopes. So if you're four-wheel driving or walking, you can use this information to choose the best path for you to take. Once you've got a bit of practice, your mind's eye will actually picture the map in 3D. And this is the real benefit of knowing what these contour lines mean.